Hi guys. Okay, so um uh yeah. <laughs> I have been gone, I guess, for a little bit. I don't know. I'm having really poor memory. I think it's been like two weeks about. Um two weeks ago I graduated and then me and our mom took a road trip from Virginia, like the DC area, up to Seattle and then down. And now I'm like in the Bay Area. In San Francisco, I spent a couple of days in Long Beach, though, which is where I'm originally from. And um, these are the books that I bought. I did want to say, too, that I really am going to take part in the um, the TBR. There's, like, some kind of readathon that's starting today. Um, I just haven't picked my books yet, and so I'm going to do this book haul now, and then, like, I'll pick the books later today, and I'll, like, start reading tonight or tomorrow from those books, and I'll do, like, a TBR, like, either tonight or tomorrow. But, yes. Okay, so... Um, sorry, I feel like super rusty, which is weird because I wasn't like really good at this anyways. So I just feel kind of uncomfortable. So I'm really, really sorry. Um, the first thing that I bought, um, that I'm going to say started, it was in DC when my family was visiting. We walked around and we went to, um, Bus Boys and Poets in DC, which is like one of the places that I really liked. And, um, I got the thing around your neck by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, Adichie, um, who I got to see um speak and who signed my copy of Americana and like I'm really stoked on her and I know this is a short story collection and I am really really excited to read this book um so yes I got this at uh, Bus Boys and Poets in DC and then um I tried to go to the Kurt Vonnegut Memorial Library in Indianapolis um but that was unfortunately closed we got there on Wednesday and they were closed on Wednesdays of course so um the next place that I bought books that I stopped was um in Chicago I went to the bookseller which um Sabrina from Unmanaged Mischief um she had been there like the week before or something and she said that that was like a good place and it was really really awesome um the booksellers were super nice and friendly there's like a little coffee shop um and it was really cute, and I asked a suggestion from the bookseller what to, like, get, because I like um, getting suggestions from the booksellers of independent book bookshops and buying those books. And she, um, one of the suggestions she gave me was The Magicians by Love Grossman, which I have been wanting to read, so it was a perfect excuse to buy it. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. And then also, though, I saw this book, and I don't know, I just had to buy it. <laughs> um, it's called Paul or Solip. I keep, like, reading it backwards for some reason solip and it doesn't even have the author's name um by Ke ken bauman i'm sorry did i say this was by love christmas probably uh so i have no idea what this is about it just like really drew my attention it's like super simple it feels really nice and it has like the the title on on the spine like that which i thought was really nice it's very short and um there's not like a lot of text on the pages so I have no idea what this is about and I'm excited to read it. <laughs> um, then the next place we stopped was uh, in Iowa City. We went to Prairie Lights Books which is another independent bookstore and um, I did the same thing. I asked the suggestion of the bookseller and he recommended to me The Swan and the Gondola. He said it's kind of like um, you know how Chicago had the Chicago World Fair and there was that book written about it. He said that um, I forget what Omaha so Omaha was like oh we need to have our own so there's this is the Omaha World's Fair in 1898 so it's like historical fiction I think um but I thought you know sounds good <laughs> and while I was there too well I guess I'll show you guys my bookish swag I got like three cute things that are book related anyways um and then my mom is a huge fan of the bridges of Madison County and she realized that we were driving through Madison County and so we stopped and I've never read it so um I got the bridges of Madison County um, at the winter set, like, like, um, tourist information, I guess, store. Uh, so I'm excited to read this. She said it is really good. So I don't know. It is hardcover though, but yeah, what you gonna do? <laughs> and then, um, we went to like Mount Rushmore, um, the Crazy Horse Monument. I actually got this book in Badlands, but it's The Killing of Crazy Horse by Thomas Powers. Um, I was gonna get something like, else prairie like but I didn't realize that we were gonna go to Crazy Horse and then we did so um I got this um so I would have liked to have gotten like this at Crazy Horse if you know what I'm saying but it doesn't matter <laughs> um this is a giant book well it's not that big it's just it's 560 but it looks much larger to me for some reason I'm really excited to learn about this I don't really know much about him um it's really cool because they're making 
the statue right now so you can see like where his arm is and stuff and it was really really cool uh and then we went to we went like other places and then these books i got from um seattle um i went to like a used bookstore and they had this copy of the jungle by upton sinclair which is the copy that i wanted and it's used so perfect <laughs> um, i'm really excited to read this this is part of the 25 before you turn 25 list that i'm trying to read by the end of this year that doesn't look like I'm going to finish, but I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard in the fall. And then I went to another. So I got this at BLMF, a literary salon, which is like in Pike's Place, um, like on in the bottom kind of of Pike's Place. And then this I got from Left Bank, Left Bank Books, and it's um, The House of the Spirits by Isabel Allende. I have been wanting to read one of her books for a really long time, and... Um, yeah, I just picked it up. Oh, and I asked them because I, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I really like having stamps from places. So they had like a little stamp that they stamped. I think this is probably like for mailing, but I had them stamp it in my book anyways. Um, and then we went to Portland and I went to Powell's bookstore. I bought way too many books, guys. Um, and my mom had been telling me like, oh, get Jane Eyre, get Jane Eyre. And I don't have a copy of it and I really want to read it. So I got Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Um, so I got that. And then I got this... Um, it's a Europa edition, and it's Broken Glass Park by Alina Bronsky. Um, so, I don't know. I just saw it and picked it up. I have no reason why. Um, and it's translated by Tim Moore, M-O-H-R. So, I think she's German. She was born in Russia, and she lives in Frankfurt, Germany. So, I don't know if this was like a... You know, you know how people are born someplace and then live someplace else and you don't know if they're like a Russian author or a German author. That's what I don't know. I'm This is so uncomfortable. I'm sorry, guys. So um, before this whole trip started, it was my friend's birthday and I bought her a present on Amazon. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go buy myself a book since I'm buying her a present. And um, I bought myself Little Boy Lost, which is one of the Persephone. This is my first Persephone book and I'm super, super excited um, by Mar Marganita Lasky. I don't know where she is from either. Or if this is, it must not be translated because there's no um, translator name or anything. But I'm excited. I have no idea what this is about. I just picked it because it's a Persephone book. <laughs> I'm so shallow when it comes to book buying. Sorry, guys. And then um, I was hanging out with my boyfriend and his friends. And one of them is a really big Philip K. Dick fan. And so I hung out with him like two days in a row kind of. And the first day we were talking about it. And then he said he would bring me a couple of books. So um, he brought me The Man in the High Castle and um the three stigmata of palmer eldritch so i'm excited to read those two um i i have not read any philip k dick and it's like one of his favorite authors so he was very encouraging like telling me like i need to read these books and then um with regards to like things that i got those are all the books i got i think there's like 13 of them it's a problem i hadn't been buying books for like over a month though so i was being really good um my mom got me this bag at pike place and it says read 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 on one side and then it has First in Pike News. So super cute. She also blurred. Oh. She also got me this little bookmark. Um, it's not an S. My name is Stephanie. Uh, my nickname in my family is Debbie, though, because I couldn't pronounce the S when I was a little kid. So And they didn't have the S, so she got me this one. It's a little like clip bookmark thing. And then also when I was in Iowa City, I got these literary tea towels that are so funny because they're so true. This one says, um, it is likely I will die next to a pile of things I was meaning to read by Lonnie Snicket. Oh, I forgot what this one says. This one's yellow. <laughs> People that like to read are always a little fucked up <laughs> by um, Pat Conroy from The Prince of Tides. So I don't know who he is, but I thought that was really funny. Um, so yeah, that was everything. I'm gonna probably post another video tonight or tomorrow with my TBR and then I need to do a wrap up also. So nothing for a couple weeks and then I'm gonna boom, boom, like flood you guys or something. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> you don't have to watch them if you don't want to. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. Good luck to everyone with the TBR. Um, I'm trying to catch up on videos, but you know, I haven't been watching them for a while, so it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Bye.